Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing one of my favourite workouts. So this is a fat burning hit workout at the gym, what to do. So this one is a little bit more advanced than the box standard glute workout, the upper body workout and the core workout that I've done for my YouTube channel. It's hard, you're literally going to be burning roughly around 500, 400 to 500 calories in 45 minutes. It's super hard, super little rest, but if you want results, we've got to do it. Okay, so just one thing I want to say, if you have any knee injuries, if you have any injuries, please be careful doing this because obviously it is a lot of impact as you'll see later on in the video. Um, but yeah, so if your goal is to lose weight, please try and replicate this as much as you can. I am going to be doing home workout ones very, very soon. So let's get started. Also, I would not recommend doing this after a great day. I did my leg day yesterday and I kid you not, all here absolutely kills and my hamstring. So maybe don't do it after a leg day because yeah, you'll be sore, let's just say that. But yeah, so I'll just take my, I'll just took my Women's Best Pre-Workout discount code is below. Um, I've also got my um, my protein BCAAs in me that I'm gonna be drinking throughout the session just to help with muscle recovery and really help me get as lean as I want to. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rabbing now, let's get started. So we're gonna get started by doing the rower. And before I start, can I say I am not a professional rower. I only know how to do the technique just through personal training and how to do correct techniques. So I'm sorry if I'm a rower and I offend you here. So basically you wanna put your foot in, you wanna make sure you're nice and secure. And what I'm doing here is I am doing a minute on a minute off times three, okay? So you basically wanna go as fast as you can for a minute then you're gonna have about 30 seconds rest and then you're gonna do a minute again. So I'm just showing you my first minute pretty much. So you wanna push your weight through the heels. As you can see, your heels are coming off and then as you push back, you wanna push through the heels. I actually do feel this in my glutes when I do it because I do push through my heels. You wanna brace the back, make sure you're not arching over, make sure you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, which I pretty much forget every single time. So by doing this, you're getting your heart rate nice and high. The higher your heart rate, the more calories you will be burning absolute killer to start off with. So now we're on to the next exercise. And I always do an extra little stretch before I start this because this is a killer. So if you've never been on one of these machines before, they are quite scary. You basically make your own speed. As you see, it's curved. When you step on the front, it will come down. So where my right hand is, there is a dial that basically determines how fast or how slow you go. So I've kind of put this in the middle. As you can see, I'm starting to run on it. I get my feet, like basically I get used to it. You don't want to go straight in for the fast one. And now I'm starting to pick up my pace. So the further you stand on the front, the faster it's going to go. You can do some on a normal treadmill, but basically what I've done here is I've done 30 seconds sprint as fast as I can. And then I'm doing that five times with about a minute rest in each. Okay, so now we're going to move on to using the upper body and the core a little bit more. So literally sledge run. What you do is you push, try and get nice, almost like you're lunging with the weight. You wanna push it forward, run, run, run as fast as you can. My weights I have on right now are 20 kg and then I'm running all the way back and I'm going to be pulling it. So this is gonna help with the bingo wings and the back fat guys, super important. You will be so out of breath, but you're gonna have a rest in a minute. So just keep going through it. If you don't wanna do this at the gym, you can actually do this at home. You just wanna tie something around a heavy object and push and pull it. So here I am doing this four times in total with about 30 seconds in rest. So you want to keep your heart rate as high as you can. Again, the higher you keep it, the more calories you are going to be burning, which in result means weight loss. This is also is great to sculpt your body. So it's fantastic in any way, shape or form. I'd recommend this workout. On to the next exercise. So this is the last exercise. It may seem short, but you are doing a lot of reps on it. So obviously it is gonna hurt. So we are doing box jumps. So I did four rounds here. So basically what I do is I do 10 jumps, as you can see. I always keep my legs nice and low. And then I have about, I think it's about a five second rest I gave myself in between here. So ready, five, four, three, two and one and then off i go again this is a great one to shape the legs and also sculpt the glutes as that's where you're getting your power from brace your knees make sure you're doing it nice and careful if this is too much at the start then you just want to basically step off and on okay you ready there's my five seconds up and off i go again so the more explosive power you get the more calories you are going to be burning this is something that needs to stick into your head okay make sure you get your protein shake after this minutes and by my heart rate monitor I burnt 475 calories. 
calories in 45 minutes, which is insane. So now I'm going to get my protein shake in. I'm having chocolate orange by my protein, of course. Again, discount code below. Um, other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe and you like and to just keep you up to date with all my latest gym workouts that I can give you. Um, I love you all lots. Have a great day and see you for my next video. Bye!